Can't even pretend like I don't want it again On a brain all the time Thinking about the things that we did You did something This is my first YouTube video ever So basically before we actually get into the video of me showing you the look I just kind of want to give you guys an intro What you will be expecting on my channel is basically I'm a triple threat I do makeup, hair, and nails So basically I do it all but they're also, I do want to kind of do other videos as well. Like, um, I also want to do like story times. And then I also want to do like clothing hauls. And maybe a few pranks here and there. Just other content as well. I don't want to just narrow it down to me being in a box and doing just one thing. I want to bring you guys a whole bunch of stuff. So that's just pretty much what you should expect from my channel. So if you're interested in anything like that, then make sure you comment like subscribe to my channel so that you can actually see what i post so without further ado i'm gonna let y'all go ahead and get into this makeup look okay guys so right here i'm taking the ellie girls pro concealer but in the yellow corrector and i like to use that as my base for my shadows so i'm just putting this all over the lid and then i'm taking my real techniques beauty blender and basically i'm just blending that out Okay, so the next thing that you see me doing is taking the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder, and I like to actually use this to set the eyes, just so that since the concealer actually is liquid and so the shadows have something to stick to, you want to put powder down. So I just put this all over the lids and make sure that it's evenly all over. So the next thing that you actually see me doing is taking this really like fluffy brush and <laughs> I'm kind of messing around in that clip. <laughs> so taking this fluffy brush that I got from like um, Amazon and basically the color that I went in with is basically from the Jaclyn Hill palette and I took the color Hunts and so basically I'm just putting Hunts as my transition shade and I'm just applying it and then you just see me really going in and just blending it out. I had already done the other eyes you can see. But I'm just making sure that they're blended out and that they're even and that they're just looking the same and the pigment is the same from each side. The next thing that I will be doing is going into the same palette and dipping into the color Jax. And basically I'm going to be putting this in the crease. As you guys can see, I've already done the other eye. So just put this in the crease, going back and forth, making sure it's even, it looks right. Also, these are the only two colors that I did decide to use. Um, so even though it's in my crease, I kind of did drag it down so that it actually covered a little bit of the rest of the eye, except for the inner corner. So then after that I go in with the same yellow corrector that we used before and I take a angled brush and I actually start to cut the crease. With this I'm not the best at <laughs> so honestly I just try to actually go where my natural crease is and I just draw a straight line and then after that I just start to fill it out with the concealer. So once all of that is done, I actually like to take a flat eyeshadow brush, and it's just a brush I got from Elf for like $3, and I actually like to use it to blend out the concealer on the lid, just so that it's not super liquidy, and I can actually put something there. So you just see me basically going back and forth, making sure that the concealer is really blended out really nicely, and it's not so liquidy. Then I go back in with the same brush that we did use for um, our makeup look 
and going back in with the color Jax and basically just blending that concealer and that um, that color Jax together so that it just doesn't look super harsh. I didn't actually show this part on camera of me showing me dipping into the shadow, but basically I'm putting a shimmer on the lid and it's still from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It's in the color Little Lady and I'm just applying that all over the lid. Um, I eventually do come to the camera so that you can actually kind of see what it looks like, but my camera just wasn't picking up the pigment. So on the next screen, you guys can see that I went ahead and I went to go put on my lashes off camera. So then I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Like Matte Filter Foundation. I always forget the name, but I'm in the color 410. And basically you're just seeing me put this all over my face. And then I go in with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which is like the best brush that you could ever get. If you are a beginner to makeup, I highly tell you to go get anything from real techniques like their brushes are really good and they're super affordable so this is my favorite brush and basically i'm just blending out my foundation getting it coated all over evenly and then also blending it down to my neck and i know at first it kind of doesn't look like it's my color but the foundation actually does oxidize meaning it dries down darker so yeah don't be worried about that because i was worried about that at first too when i bought it i was like this is not my color but it is so once i have that all blended out i once again going back in with my yellow corrector which i love and basically i just put a little bit under the eyes just a little bit not going too haywire with it and then going in with the same LA Girls Pro Concealer but in the color Fawn and I like to put this under the eyes, on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow, my chin, the bridge of my nose, and the top of my forehead. Then I go back in with my Real Techniques sponge and basically I just start blending all of that out flawlessly. And then I go right back in with my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. And I'm going to start baking with that. So wherever we put the concealer is exactly where I'm going to put the powder just to set my face. Okay, so then I like to go in with a crease brush and take the colors Hunts and Jax using Jax first. And I just like to put that right like kind of near the waterline just to add something to the makeup look. So that the eyeshadow looks just looks more dramatic. Um, so I did use both of the colors. Then I'm going to head and go back in with the Expert Face Brush. And I just like to go ahead and sweep all that powder away that we put on the face. Now I'm just going in with my Maybelline Big Shot Mascara and just putting that on my bottom lashes. So now I like to take a little fluffy brush and go into the Fendi Beauty Kilowatt in Afternoon Snack in Mo Honey. And basically I'm taking Mo Honey and I'm just putting that all over like 
my nose and the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. Then I like to take an actual fan brush and go back into Mohoney and just put that right on the hollows of my cheeks. Then with the same brush that we used for um, our under eyes, I'm going back in, I cleaned it off and then I'm going to take Mohoney and put that right at the arch of my brows. I really didn't do anything for the lips for this look. I just put on an EOS and then here's the final look. Yeah, and thank you for watching my first YouTube video.